Hello friends, welcome back to a pop-up shop vlog, but not just any pop-up shop vlog guys. This is the pop-up of all pop-ups. This is like chaos and perfection blended all together to create the perfect storm of a pop-up. I am so excited to share this one because of how successful it was and how much it just blew all my expectations out of the water and i want the same thing to happen to you guys so i'm going to share a little about it this one was called the hoboken arts and music festival if you've been following me for a while you know that this is my favorite event ever it happens twice a year this one was from 11 a.m to 6 p.m on a sunday so right around 9 a.m we loaded my mom's minivan with all my stuff and headed the two blocks over to my perfect vendor booth location unloaded the car my mom went to park while we started setting up the canopy this is one of the two canopies that i use i love it i put the weights on it we had some of the vendors help out with it so that was very nice of them then started setting up the bigger items my tables and also my vertical ledge pieces i love these vertical ledge carry cases because they just keep everything in two bags basically and i have i think four different vertical ledge displays all packed up into these two bags which is perfect they literally fit so much stuff and they do get a little bit heavy because of all the stuff i am putting into them but definitely manageable for one or two people to carry over um, i have my garment rack my kiosk and some of my smaller table displays in there so right now i'm setting up the kiosk and i kid you not guys this was the biggest game changer for my booth because now there's like a dedicated professional area for me to do checkouts and I, th I just think this is like the best thing that's happened to my booth as of late so it's really easy to put together too all the different wood pieces just slide into each other and everything goes in really smoothly I do want to say though that the more I use it the easier it gets to put it together both with like me just knowing how to put it together and also with the wood pieces like sliding into each other I feel like it's getting smoother as I continue to use them so if the first time you use yours it's a little bit you know a little bit tough don't worry it'll get easier um, that's what happened with me so setting up all my other stuff that a-frame display that you guys saw me just put together um, that is something that my dad made for me it's not from a brand um, so I can't link it <laughs> but it's easy to find online if you're interested so I have my three hefty bins here. I'm just unloading a lot of my inventory onto the table and my kiosk. My kiosk is another great thing about it is that it holds so much stuff. So instead of leaving my extra inventory in my bins under the table, I actually leave a lot of it in the kiosk. And you'll see later I have two wooden panel covers that cover the front of the kiosk. You guys were saying that in my last pop-up it looked bad and I should have put on the two covers and don't worry in this pop-up i listened and i put the two wooden panels over the front to cover everything but yeah i'm just continuing on load i have my stadium display as well as my belly display packed into my hefty bins as you just saw because those are smaller vertical ledge uh table displays so i can fit them in my hefty bins but yeah i don't really have like a method to this madness honestly i just start putting together whatever gets unloaded first <laughs> so finally after i unloaded most of the bins i found all of the different pieces to my garment rack because for this one the middle like the long tall part of <laughs> this garment rack the pieces are longer so i keep them in the vertical edge bags but the smaller pieces are small enough to fit in my hefty bins so i put them there so i need to unpack everything before i put this together um, that's why i'm doing this like towards the end um, you do need screws for these. They're just like handheld, like um, twisty knobs almost. And they come with the garment rack. So I have two of these garment racks and it holds my tote bags perfectly. And for when one day I eventually have apparel again, they will hold my apparel. This is the belly display, also very easy to put together. This is the one that I'm mainly talking about when I say that like it gets easier to put together the more you do it. Either like the wood like pieces, I don't know. They it just I just find it to be so much easier to put together than the first couple times I did it. Um, they just slide right in. So and then I love how these connect. Also, they make a little like wavy kind of I don't know like a really narrow S shaped i don't know it's cute all right have my glass mugs and i love the way these look on here 
this display makes me want to make more glass mugs and like fill up the whole A-frame or ladder shelf display with glass mugs because of how pretty it looks. But this little wavy shape I'm talking about with the candles, um, if you can kind of see what I mean. Okay guys, this is the setup. It's basically the same as Downtown Street Fair, but I changed like a couple things. So, have a tent this time. That's my own tent. Um, because this festival doesn't provide tents. I have my garment rack here as usual, and I have some new totes in the front that are like fall themed, and I have my Hoboken totes down here. Two garment racks and vertical edge. Have my mirror. I didn't forget it this time, so that's good. And coming over here, we have my um, like A-frame stand that I brought last time for the first time. It's like a little unstable, so we put little um, pieces underneath the front two legs, so it's a little bit more straight. And I kept the same things here, the bubble candles, the mini candles, the glass cups, and just extra. That's actually going to be a sale section down at the bottom. I have to put a few more things. Um, but that's that, and I think it looks cute. And I have my banner with my wall covering all my empty boxes that are behind there, actually. And my kiosk, which looks beautiful because this is like falling off. I put the front two pieces on here, which I think makes it look a lot better. Um, Josh put on the little zip ties and it covers everything that's behind here so I put a ton of stuff behind here. All my extra candles <laughs> just so they're easy to grab. Um, I have a few more in like a few more boxes here and then I have some packaging materials. I have some spare little things. Oh these are the things that are, that are supposed to go um, in the sales section. Cash box. Um, also have my stickers there and be right back because I have a customer. Okay intermission. Um, because I had two customers or two different sales so now we're back at this table which is my normal eight foot six foot table mm, I think it's six feet have my banner from Vistaprint also have my sticker rack that I always use this is from Amazon I made decals and then I have these stickers I have a mirror here to show people what the decal looks like and then I have my scrunchie rack which I need to <laughs> fix some of these um, but have some fall colors and then some of the newer colors I made in my last prep vlog. Still have my sister's last two crocheted coasters. And then what everyone is interested in, my candles. So I have my two vertical edge displays, my belly and my stadium displays. I put the core collection on the left side, the fall collection on the right side. I'm showing off the other sides as well because most of the testers are these um, 12 ounce sizes. So I put some eight ounces and five ounces just to like show people what they look like. And of course my business cards are here. So that's the whole booth. I think it looks very pretty. When the sun starts to hit it, the sun is like over there. So in the afternoon when it hits it, I think it's gonna look so angelic, but already it looks really nice. And I love, I should put like a decal on the kiosk with my brand name or something like that. Oh, so pretty. I didn't even say hi today because I was so busy. But hello. <laughs> Welcome to a pop up job vlog. Now it's absolutely ridiculous to me that I get sales from the second I look somewhat pseudo set up to the second I am halfway done with breaking down my booth. It's insane that this amount of people like want to stop by and look at my stuff and I just I'm so grateful and this pop-up was so different in the fact that I just felt like I like truly belonged at this festival with how many people were stopping by. So many people were actually coming back 
from previous arts and music festivals to like look for my booth specifically saying that they had shopped in my shop like last season they wanted to come back and like grab something um this local like social media girl called hoboken girl she has a team that writes a lot of newsletters and posts on social media about Hoboken related content and local news and things like that. She posted on her story about my Hoboken tote bags that these two girls are holding and literally I had girls were running to my booth asking if I still had Hoboken tote bags and I only made I think seven or eight of them maybe even less um because I had run out of HTV you'll see me like complaining to my mom later on about that but I just like couldn't believe that like a social media person like that would like post about my booth and then people would be influenced by that and like run over and want to have it. I, I just like, that was crazy. Do you all say, oh my god, those tote bags are so cute! And I was like, oh, I don't want to go. Hi, Emily! Hi. You look like a whole book. I like your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I like your booth. <laughs> hey. Hi, Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to you. Nice to meet you. Nice to I should have made more. <laughs> but I ran out of like, I ran out of the vinyl. Another thing that makes my pop-up shop experience is so incredible is the amount of people who support me in my own life like my mom drives all the way from central jersey to come and help me pack up the car unload things and she just like helps out with giving me bags and like reminding me to include my business card and all the bags that i'm giving to customers she like keeps track of things in my boots to make sure people aren't stealing things because like honestly that's happened before so she's so helpful and my fiance josh he was taking pictures with his little like professional like dslr camera to get some really high quality pictures um that i could post on social media and he was doing that for me which is great and then also you saw that like basically every single one of my friends <laughs> stopped by which is wild none of them live near here anymore so they took the trip out just to support and a lot of them ha hadn't ever like seen my pop-up before so this was the first one they saw which made this one really special my sister came she's never seen me at one of these um and i don't know if you guys are paying attention right now but there is a literal line at my checkout booth like people are coming i i just like can't even i'm watching it as i'm doing this voiceover and it's not it doesn't even look like me like i'm having extreme imposter syndrome <laughs> watching myself checking out all these people and they won't stop coming it's just like a full online it's wild this has never happened to me before by the way if you're the kind of vendor who like always has a line and has constant sales throughout the day props to you and also that's just like the most incredible feeling so i'm so happy for you because i had never experienced anything like this and it was the best also, as you can tell, everyone loves my little spin the wheel and I'm thriving off of it. Guys, it's literal chaos. Guys, it's been non-stop, non-stop. There are people here now. It's embarrassing talking. Now, I had brought more stuff than I'd ever brought to any other pop-up and I still sold out of some things, which is incredible. I think I brought over a hundred candles. I never bring anywhere near that amount. <laughs> and there was only one box of candles left. Oh, okay, and also, the vertical ledge piece almost just dropped me that was fully my bad i don't know why i was taking off the top piece 
first when I should take off the middle piece and then the top piece. Just don't do what I do. <laughs> anyway, I didn't sell too many tote bags. I just saw I had to pack away like a good amount, but candles did really well, decals did really well, the glass mugs did really well, and just like overall vibes of people stopping by and giving compliments was like awesome. I did bring like a ton of scrunchies, so I did sell a good amount, um, but I still kept the pegboard pretty packed because I had a lot of backups to replace the ones that sold um, just to keep the pegboard looking full, which I think is like a good look. You don't ever really want your booth to look empty because I think it looks a little less professional. Like I wanted to keep replenishing the stock, so that's what I did. I'm packing everything up now around 6 p.m. or I think it was around like 6.15. Like this festival drags on. <laughs> there are some festivals where strictly at the end time, they make you pack up and have everything in your cars within like 30 minutes. This is not one of the, these markets. Um, this one was a little bit more lenient, but they did have like the trash guys and the street cleaners coming by So we wanted to pack our stuff up to get out of their way um, So everything goes back into the hefty bins and the vertical ledge bins and everything is so easy to take apart like I do not tolerate <laughs> Displays that are hard to put together or to take apart. So everything you see here is very easy to, to manage and just know that I literally wouldn't use it unless if it were easy to use. So putting everything into these bags. There are a few people stopping by like asking if they could see the Oboken tote bags <laughs> and I'm like oh gosh I sold out literally within half an hour of the market. I'm so sorry. Taking down the canopy had some help from the nearby vendors which is so nice. I don't know why but like Candy tents aren't hard to put up or take down, but for some reason we always have like little issues. I don't know. This tent is amazing. It's just, it's like our problem. My mom had already left, so I actually just used my wagon to take everything back to my apartment and we called it a night. Hey guys, welcome to the pop-up shop recap. I like how we've gotten into this little routine of doing recaps after the pop-up shop because it's so crazy and so chaotic during the pop-up that I feel like I don't get a chance to explain myself and I don't get to clear my head until a little while after. It has been a couple weeks since the Arts and Music Festival, so I did a look back at the footage to refresh my memory, but that pop-up is going to be near and dear to my heart for a very long time, specifically the 2023 Fall Hoboken Arts and Music Festival because of how amazing it was. Everything literally went perfect. I was so properly prepared. I had eight full boxes of candles, a huge bag of scrunchies, so many decals. I prepped a ton of mini candles, glass mugs, like literally all of my inventory. I, I had so much of it. I feel like I finally got over the hurdle of being like, oh, people aren't gonna buy too many things or I'm probably not gonna make that many sales. I got out of that headspace and just made a ton of stuff and set the expectation that I'm going to sell all of it and then it just like manifested from there. So I felt really good setting up because I just felt so prepared. The day was beautiful, blue skies. My booth spot was impeccable. Basically same spot as the previous events I've done um, for the Hoboken Arts Music Festival. My mom came to help with my minivan, at least in the beginning. She only stayed for half of the time, but that was fine because my booth location was so close to my apartment <laughs> that I just used my wagon to take everything back at the end of the pop-up, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I started making sales even before the market started. This was probably my favorite ever booth setup of all time, so I was feeling really confident being behind my kiosk, taking orders on my iPad. I felt really proud of my products and so I was just like boasting about like all my stuff to any customers who would walk by and I feel like that confidence like rubbed off in a good way where people like found me to be super legit. Everyone kept asking me where my storefront is. Like they were assuming that I have a storefront which is crazy. And then this is what got me. This is a graph of the sales I made that day. Look at that. Look at it. I just made so many back to back to back sales as soon as noon hit because that was right around when everyone was coming out. Could barely see the street because so many people were walking by. Like I might have said, it was really rainy the past few days, like before the pop up. So the day of the pop up, when it was like beautiful outside, literally everyone came out of their homes and came to the festival. There was a huge spike of people around 12, and then just like a bunch more trickling in throughout the day. Basically, Every single one of my friends showed up. 
<laughs> I'm so happy I got clips of that. I had three of my friends stop by who I knew were going to stop by. I had my sister stop by who had never come to my pop-ups before. My mom was obviously there. I had more like friends from Stevens, like college I went to. And also I found some people from high school, which is crazy. I literally never see anyone from high school and I don't really have any friends left from high school. But the fact that people like still follow me on Instagram and like we're acquaintances at this point or they just want to like support like a fellow like East Brunswick High School alum. <laughs> it's like really crazy. So I saw a bunch of people that I recognize. Everyone was so supportive. And then again, the people who I didn't know who were just customers coming by were also so kind and just complimenting all my stuff. I feel like there were times when I was behind the checkout and like literally two hours went by and all I had been doing that whole time was just checking people out. I didn't have a chance to clean up the tables or to like take any footage like on my camera. I barely got any like iPhone pictures and that's just because I was so busy and that's quite literally never happened to me before at a pop-up. I thought I had really good sales and I was really busy at previous pop-ups but now having done this one, it the other ones literally don't compare. I definitely attribute this pop-up success to my new boot setup. I think the glow up with my vertical ledge pieces, with my DIY like A-frame display, the setup with like the table on one side, garment rack on the other side, kiosk in the middle, that whole like formation, I think just like really lured people in. The mirror obviously always does its job. It's not hanging right now. It's like over there because I did a different pop-up recently. I think my aesthetic was like perfect for the types of people who were walking through the festival. And then I also feel like the products like speak for themselves a lot better now. For my labels that are from fast printing, like they, they just feel better than my old ones that I would print with my printer. I do still print some of my like candle labels with my printer, but most of them I get printed by fast printing. Hey, crates that I use, the color coordination. I individually priced out all of my tote bags. I did put the cover on my kiosk so that you hide all of like the mess that's behind there. And then just all of that together, I think like made the glow up so effective. So if you're thinking about investing in your booth monetarily and you just don't know if you wanna bite the bullet and get those expensive displays or you don't wanna put in the effort to research different types of solutions for your booth, like just, just do it, it's so worth it. What's so crazy is that I brought over 100 candles and I came home with one box left and one box only fits like 12 candles. That's such a rewarding feeling. And I also brought like 500 business cards and they were pretty much all gone. I had like a really small stack left. So other people were picking up my card to buy for me later. I did have a couple orders come in the next couple of days after the festival. So many people were posting on social media, um, tagging me. I also had the kindest vendors to either side of me. Uh, so I was like really lucky in that sense as well. But yeah, overall, I just, I really can't believe how successful that was. I was like in disbelief while I was there. I'm still in disbelief now. I don't know. I don't know if anything will beat it, honestly. To get into the numbers, on that day specifically, I made $3,732.63, which is wild. And $1,070 came in at 12 p.m. Like I have the screenshot, I'll like put it here of like the order receipts that I was getting on my email of people ordering like 12, 1201, 1202, 1203, 1204. And that's just like how fast they were coming in, which is wild. In the past I've done pop-ups where I would get maybe only 10 sales the whole time. And if it's a six hour event, I'm only getting sales once every hour, a little bit more frequently, like every 40 minutes. So something like this, like really, it's a, it gets my ego going, you know? So it was 104 sessions, which means I made 104 sales. But I did have some people order online that day as well. I don't know if it was because I was posting on social media or maybe some people came to my booth and decided they just want to order online later. But I made 113 sales in total that day. The average order value was $30.98, which kind of makes sense because I have smaller candles that are $18 and then bigger candles that are $34. My tote bags for $30 or $25, so that kind of makes sense. My top selling products that day were decals as the number one, which um, I don't know if I expected that. Really cool. Scrunchies are number two. Stickers are number three. And then my candles are categorized by the like scent. So I think honestly candles are like the number one 
best-selling product uh, like that day but they're just categorized by scents, so it's like hard to tell. The clicks on my link tree link, which is what my QR code on my business card leads to, was up by 200%, it says. <laughs> and yeah, it was just very unbelievable. I'm so excited for the next Arts and Music Festival. Honestly, I think that this festival is like my crowd. It's like my community, and I feel like nothing will ever beat it. But if you have any like pop-ups that you think I should attend in the local like New Jersey, New York area, um, that you think would be kind of similar and you think I'd be a good fit, let me know in the comments. A lot of you guys suggest pop-up locations to me and they always, like, most of the time end up being pretty good. So I would definitely have to check them out. It's now cold outside, so the pop-ups I'm doing now are much colder, less people are coming by. I know it's the holiday season, but I feel like a lot of people shop their holiday gifts online now, so not that many people are coming to the pop-ups that I'm doing but I'm like itching for it to be the springtime again so that I can do the Spring Arts Music Festival and like get that same high. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. If you saw me at the Arts and Music Festival in person, thank you for being there. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.